Hello and welcome to my channel, the so-called travel expert. Join us in our adventures at Garmisch Partenkirchen, which is the most popular ski resort in Germany, in Bavaria. And this is also home of the Zugspitze behind me, which is the tallest mountain in Germany at just short of 3000 meters. This is what you can expect in the upcoming videos. I bring you all the information you required if you're planning a ski trip. That includes the ski rentals, the lift ticket, lunch options at the ski resort, and also some also dinner options. Join us for our skiing adventures at Garmisch Partenkirchen. You can either take the regional train from Munich, where a single ticket costs around 23 euros, or you could also choose to drive, it's just around 90 kilometers, and you get wonderful views of the Zugspitze towards the end. The architecture is quite beautiful and is typical what you find in most of the southern German villages. We found this place via Airbnb and we had booked around three months in advance. This one bedroom flat was located in the center of the village, so that made it very convenient. So we begin our ski adventures today. It's bright and sunny, but also quite cold, minus five. But it doesn't feel like it because there's no wind. And we are now heading off to the ski slopes, which is just a five minute drive from here. There are at least three or four different ski schools which offer their services here. A three hour course in a group costs around 55 euros per day and a private course uh, would be up to 175 euros. The course time is usually only three hours. If you only go skiing once or twice a year, then you would be better off just renting the skis. You can rent them for a reasonable price at the ski resort itself. The staff at the ski rental are also quite friendly and help you choose the right sizes if you are not an experienced skier. Due to the mild winter, there was no snow at the ground level and that's why we had to first take a lift up to get to the ski slopes. And there you can see the village of Garmisch Partenkirchen in the background and you encounter similar problems as you would in any theme park where most of the time is just spent waiting in the queues. After dropping my son off for the ski school, I decided to venture up a bit higher. Here's a quick glimpse of the intermediate level slopes as we go up from around 1300 meters to around 1800 meters. From up there, the views got even better. So I've come halfway down the blue slope which is kind of the uh, intermediate level and you can see behind me people are coming down different levels you know some of them are experts some of them are pretty much graduating from the beginner level like me and I'll just give you an idea of how steep the slope is as well in this next shot. So from there you can see it again starts getting a bit steep. I'm currently on the flatter part of the incline which is why I could stop and hold my camera. But that's the fun part actually. The faster you get, the more adrenaline rush, uh, the higher the adrenaline rush is. Kids training will, have, oh, will finish at 12 o'clock. So I'll just go over and pick up the kid and then we continue our practice what he has learned today. But it was also lunch time so we decided to have lunch instead. We were only allowed entry indoors after confirming uh, that we were vaccinated against the corona. There was a wide range of warm food available for lunch. The kids chose to have sausages with chips but the good thing was also that you could bring your own lunch. So if you carried your own sandwiches you could definitely save some money here. So we've just finished having our lunch at this uh, pub behind. And now it's uh, almost 2 o'clock, so I still have two more hours of uh, skiing time before the lift shut down. So we will head back again now to the uh, beginner slopes and uh, teach the children or learn with the children as well. 
This is the Kinderland slope where children without any experience are first taught how to ski. And he was quite keen to show off what he had learned earlier that day, so he asked me to follow him on the lift as well. This certainly reminded me of the days when I learned how to ski. The thing about learning to ski as a child is that they have no fear of falling down. And within two days of the ski school, he had already learned how to balance and to make turns. And so the next step was to take him up through the lift onto a slightly steeper slope. After falling off a couple of times from the T-bars, he finally got the hang of it. Hmm, not a bad effort, having learnt skiing for just two days. So that's it, we have uh, skied down and you can see the Apre ski party starting behind me. But of course uh, with the corona thing going on, we are going to skip that and we will just head back down to our car straight away. So we have just come back down with the cable car now to the base station and today's skiing experience is done. So we are heading out now for dinner into a typical German uh, pub. So let's see what they have for us. So this is one of the typical pubs uh, and we'll be trying out dinner here. So that's the menu card and it's all in German. What do we have here? As always, some salad, which I'm not going to go for. This is a vegetarian speciality. And some grilled stuff. This one is a pork filet, maybe I might try that. And a few different schnitzels, which are a speciality of this area. Also some sausages from deer, from wild deer. So that also sounds interesting, I might go for that. And for desserts, they only have the apple strudel, which is also a speciality of this area. So we've just received our uh, dinners now and uh, digging in. Have a look at what we've ordered. So I've again chosen a uh, spezi, uh, which is a mixture of uh, cola and Fanta. And that is a radler which is basically quite a funny combination. It is uh, beer mixed with a lemonade. And uh, this one is the Jäger schnitzel. So it's basically a uh, schnitzel which has come with uh, some mushroom sauce and also with some uh, spätzle, which is also a speciality of this region. And this looks good as well. This is the Schwein medallion also with the sauce which looks quite yummy and we also have spätzle uh, Käse spätzle that is cheese so Käse is cheese and this is a typical Bavarian dish as well so now we will taste it and let's see how it goes so let's just try this meat, meat feast yummy really good I've nearly finished everything. It was quite a heavy plate, but I managed to finish everything. <laughs> so it is 9 o'clock in the evening, maybe 9.30. And you can see some beautiful lighting. But you can also see that the place is almost dead. There's hardly anybody out on the street. People are either in the restaurants having dinner, or getting drunk or they've head back to their hotels but looks beautiful nevertheless with the lighting on so i hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative please like share and subscribe